full steam ahead, everybody. Yes, students are rolling up their sleeves this morning to participate in the second annual Blue Ridge Brawl. Yeah, high school robotics teams from across the Commonwealth and Tennessee are coming together to showcase their robotic skills. Of course, we had to send our WFXR's Hazel Marie Anderson to explore this robotic competition. She's, she's got I the robot I knew that moves. she was going to do it. Yes, she has the moves. <laughs> like you see her I mean, I have the moves, but do I have the skills? <laughs> do I have the skills to build a robot is the question. And I'm going to let you know I don't, but I know who does. This awesome team does. We're here at Salem High School with Spartan Robotics. I am joined by Dalton, who happens to be one of the technicians, as well as one of the mentors and leaders, Stephen. Guys, thank you so much for honestly starting earlier your school day. So Dalton, tell us real quick. We're actually going to step out the way because you don't need to see us. You need to see this awesome robot. What's the robot's name and what exactly is it doing? Yeah, so the robot's name is Randy's Dream. He is named after our former mentor. Um, and what it's doing right now is it's trying to put the balls into the hoop up there so that we can score points. All right, now, Stephen, real quick, let's talk about Blue Ridge Bra for just a moment. It is, what exactly is it? What's going on this Saturday? So this Saturday at, uh, at Roanoke College is the, uh, is the Blue Ridge Brawl. Um, it's a co-hosted event from, uh, by Salem Spartan Robotics and Roanoke College. It's an off-season event, so it's just a mimic of what last year's events and everything would have looked like. But it gives the students an opportunity to come in, practice, kind of pick up where they left off. Um, you know, kind of, you know, a, a preseason, uh, you know, for like a, 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 a weightlifting or something like that. These guys come in and they get everything ready for this event. Absolutely. No, Dolan, talk to me for a moment. What is it like to be, you know, a part of this competition? Now, we understand that it is, you know, off season, but what is it like being a part of it? Yeah, it's a lot of fun. So it's a lot of new experience. Uh, it's the only time in my day where I'm really actually building a robot and sort of getting that sort of job experience. Um, it's, it's a lot of work, uh, but it's also a whole lot of fun. They got these big events where everybody gets together and it's a lot of fun. Now, let's talk about the event for just a moment. Now, you guys are given the tasks. You're, you're given, okay, this is what the task is going to be, which right now we're looking, the robot has to throw a ball into a hoop, as well as what is this apparatus right here? Yeah, so the robot will climb. Uh, at the end of the game, the goal of the robot is that the robot can climb up onto the bars for some extra points. Um, so we can do that in a minute if you guys would like to see it. Actually, yeah, can we see the robot climb? So while they're getting the robot to climb, Stephen, why don't you tell us, you know, working with these students, it's been a crazy year for them. We did with COVID, you know, Dalton was telling us that they named the robot after their former leader that passed, you know, emotionally, how does it make you feel these kids go through all of this? It's awesome. They, um, they've come in and led the charge. Uh, we have a, a handful of, of mentors that work with them that kind of guide them along the way and help them with you know some of the technical aspects and little things here and there but everything you see going on here was student done it was student led it was student built um, you know there are times that we may have to subcontract out a part or something uh -huh. like that but you know with the with the support from the school with the support from the community um, that is amazing with the support of the community and everything like that we've able been to able to this. yeah we've been able to to to, to really just kind of keep moving and 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 just continue to excel so How cool. they get problem solving teamwork um the technical robotic uh coding skills yeah. and just everything. everything, everything that, you know, real life uh, situation, especially for those who want to be engineers. I mean, how cool is that? Now, like I said, I know how to do the robot, but I don't know how to build a robot. But if you want to learn, make sure you come out this Saturday. Check out Spartan Robotics as well as other teams across the Commonwealth and even in Tennessee are going to be out here showcasing their skills. I'm going to toss it back to you. Uh, that is, is incredible that and is so cool. Did you see that? I know it just it went up. It just right. Climbing. And I think the robot got a couple of points for the baskets. But I mean that team gets many many points. Yeah. Because of what this robot could actually do. Look at that. I like, think they seriously, already have guys, jobs Like how cool done. is that? I mean. 
Yes, they do. Yes, they do. They already have jobs lined up. I mean, if you can create this, you can do anything. Yeah. Absolutely. Well, thank you. We'll check back mm -hmm. in with you a little bit mm -hmm. later on. This is an off-season competition that's happening on Saturday for these uh, young folks. Just some fun to get them ready for the actual season at the start of the new year. And again, this event is happening in the Kreger Center this Saturday from five from nine until five. Now, your most accurate pinpoint weather forecast.